everybody, and welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. I've got some bad news. It's our final Walt Disney World video from our vacation, but don't worry, we saved the best video for last. Yeah, I had this idea to have a Walt Disney World expert plan our day in the parks, day at the resorts. Just so happens that this expert also happens to be our friends. <laughs> so we called upon the Tim Tracker and his wife, Jen, Yay! to plan our entire day in Walt Disney World. Yeah, they are the Walt Disney World experts. In case you don't know who they are, they have a very popular YouTube channel. Yes, they're probably the big, they, they are the biggest theme park vlogger out there. And they were very much the inspiration for us when we got started. So, and we've been lucky enough to be friends with them. It was cool to sit down and chat with them yeah. and have them plan our day. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not going to tell you how it turned out. It could, was it a disaster? You gotta watch. Come with us on this adventure. <laughs> There's no sound. Why is there no sound? <laughs> Why does this always happen to us? Let's just communicate with. He's trying uh, to get your attention. Yeah. Oh. See you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I hear something. Hey, Jen. Oh, I could hear you. Yay. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Oh. <laughs> so fluffy. Do you want to see him? Oh, little baby. Can you see him? <laughs> Yeah. The lighting is weird. <laughs> How cute. He's asleep. That little buddy. I'm not sure if Tim explained what we're doing. We're coming to Florida and we wanted, for one of the days, we wanted to like do something a local expert would tell us to do. And I, I don't think there's anybody that probably visits theme parks more <laughs> than you guys, other than people that work there, probably, I'm guessing. I mean, there, there probably are people who are actual experts that you could ask to do this, but <laughs> but we'll help you. Like, we don't mind. <laughs> so when Peter told me about this, I thought it was going to be like, we we're pretending that we were on like a FaceTime call and we're going to be like, hold on. Oh, it's Tim and Jen. And like, pick up the phone. And like, <laughs> but I guess that's not what we're doing. So that's what I thought it was going to be too. Fake it. I don't know. Oh, no. I, we're not good at doing stuff like that anyway. So I don't think <laughs> it would have been, been fun. Like, it would have been fun. Yeah. The idea was to have you guys suggest to us like some of your favorite things from like a breakfast to a lunch to a dinner like to anything rides desserts and then we're actually going to spend a whole day and go and film us doing those things let's start with like the morning like what 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 do you what's like the best breakfast like where should we go for breakfast remember we got those pancakes at, at um at, at the wave no at um polly when we stayed at the bungalow oh, yeah. and we lost the footage yeah the, we had the most delicious Macadamia nut pancakes. Yeah, they were good. They were so good. It's like the best of, you know, when people are like, my number one Disney blah, blah, blah. Yeah. It's always that. And they also say that the sweet potato pancakes are their favorite too, but they're not. Oh yeah, they weren't. Those, those were very good. Those weren't that good. <laughs> but then again, I don't know, you guys could love them. So who knows, like it, I, we just didn't. But the macadamia nut pancakes are like, you should get those. Yeah. Okay, so I that's think that's good. what we say. That's our thing. But if you that's don't want to do that, go to Primo Piatta and get the other pancakes. But if you don't want to do that, <laughs> Go to Woody's Lunchbox. <laughs> oh yeah, so there you go, three options. First up, we're going to the Polynesian Resort to eat some of those pancakes that Jen talked so highly about. But first, we gotta stop in the gift shop because Kitra has some, some friends. And they're named Duffy, Olu, name Duffy and friends. Yeah. I, name I, them all? No. I love the whole vibe of the Polynesian Resort. Like, it, it kind of reminds me of Alani. Reminds me of Hawaii. Someday, I'd love to stay here. I'd love to stay here too. It's so expensive though. Maybe we, if we can find like another really good deal like we got when we went to Alani, then one day it'll become a reality. Trust me, I've been looking. Right now they're doing like this huge renovation. So there's a lot of construction. There's no monorail stop. But the concept art of what it's gonna look like when it's done looks amazing. And I can't wait. Uh, the music in here really is reminding me of Alani. By the way, I love that this store is called Boutique. Yeah. Have you found your friends? I'm so excited this stuff is here. They have all the Olu merchandise you could ever want. They also have some Trader Sam's merchandise in here, which is kind of exciting. This is Kitra in the morning before she gets her coffee. And there's the coffee. This is me ready to go for the day in the parks. 
This is me ready to finally eat some pancakes. <laughs> Accurate. Table's ready. We went upstairs to the Kona Cafe. This is a very popular restaurant here at the Polynesian. And it looks all Hawaiian, has like these fans on the ceiling, has these decorative tiki things on the wall. I love it. But of course, we're here to try the macadamia nut pancake that has macadamia nut butter, pineapple sauce, your choice of ham, spiced ham, bacon or sausage. I got the bacon because I love that bacon. And this looks amazing. How does this work? Because I've never really had pancakes without with a <laughs> maple syrup. You just spread this? Is oh that what you're supposed god, to? that looks so good. But is it, am I doing that right? You're doing great. Is that a good bite right there? Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm so hungry. <laughs> I love pineapples. You know, I don't think I've ever really had macadamia nuts. I've probably had a couple, but like I'm not like a macadamia nut person. But this makes me want to be one. <laughs> These pancakes are fluffy. The sauce is sweet, but not like overwhelming. Like taking a bite of this, like instantly, like trans, like took me back to Hawaii. Oh my gosh! Yeah. <laughs> I am so happy that Jen recommended this because this this, this is so good. Five out of five feeders. Gotta try these pancakes. Wow, wow, wow. Ordinary adventure star. Ordinary adventure star. Those are amazing. We're gonna be eating a lot today. <laughs> Dang, yeah, we really are. Let's enjoy these pancakes. Love that. Okay, um, this sounds like a good list. And it sounds like we're gonna have our hands full to like do all these things. We could do it. Oh man, I got so many more things for you to do. <laughs> and then we could go to Magic Kingdom first. Like, do you find yourself because Disneyland isn't open that you're like like yearning to go to Magic Kingdom? Yeah, I'm super, I think I'm more excited to go to Magic Kingdom than I've ever been like in, on any other previous trip. Yeah. And I know for sure I'm gonna cry. <laughs> like, oh. yeah. Well, because it's, it's been like a year, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. The last time we were in any Disney park was the day after we saw you guys at Mickey and Minnie's. Yeah, oh, wow. Mickey and Minnie's. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's so weird how different things are here. <laughs> yeah. Like, we literally are just like, yeah, let's go to every theme park ever. They're all open. You don't even have to wear a mask to some of them. Like, who cares? Wow. Yeah. Which is crazy to me. Yeah. I don't know. You, you like, have no idea. We get excited over, like, a restaurant is reopened. Yeah. <laughs> like, we're like, oh, we can eat food. Oh, we my God. We can eat. We could drink water outside again. Oh, my God. <laughs> For a period of time, we couldn't even, like, if you were walking through downtown Disney, you couldn't even, like, go to a corner and sit down and, and drink, drink water. Like, a bottle of water. Wow. What do you yeah. do? You have to, like, go back up to your car and drink it, I guess. I don't know. Guess I'll die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, guess I'm dying today. I feel like we're having a very Tim Tracker moment right now. King of the bus. King <laughs> of the bus. There's nobody else on the bus. So, we're going to take the shuttle over to Magic Kingdom. I think we get like three or four hours of parking here at the Polynesian with our dining reservation. So we're only going to be there for a few hours. So that lets us skip the, the parking fee at TCC. Just like that, we have arrived at the Magic Kingdom. Something that I think that should be part of this day is you too should have a silhouette made. Oh, you should. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. And that's actually, a good idea. if you, you can get that done you, at Disney Springs, I believe. You can do it at Disney Springs. Um, you can do it anywhere. They have them at Epcot. They have them at. I don't like, know if they have them at Animal Kingdom. I don't know if they do actually. Yeah, but they have them at all of the other. I don't know if they do it at Hollywood Studios. But they do it at Epcot, Magic Kingdom, and Disney Springs for sure. But you can also do a side uh, profile picture of your dogs and they can do oh them as well. Yeah, but because everybody's wearing a mask right now, you have to have a photo ready to go like of a, your profile. Yeah. Or you can have oh. one with a mask if you want to like remember this thing, you know, <laughs> pandemic. If you want to remember. It kind of looks sort of cool though with the mask. It looks sort of like, um, like a video game. Like, yeah. 
You know, like, uh, what's her name? Who's the one? Um, is it Chun-Li who wears a mask? No. Who wears the mask in <laughs> Street Fighter? Uh, I know who you're talking yeah. about, but I can't think of their name. Yeah, I don't know their name. I think. Well, that's what they look. That's what you look like. I if guess you... Chun Li was the only. Maybe she did wear a mask. I, I think, think she wears Mortal like Kombat. a. Is it Mortal Kombat? I, I think thought it was like... Street Fighter. You know what I'm talking about, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. It looks. Oh, I think cool. it's Mortal Kombat. Like, because there's like Sub Zero wears a mask, yeah. and there's some other people. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. I feel like Chun Li wore that like thing though. Like a veil type thing. Yeah. She did. So. Yeah. No? I think she did. Did she? I don't know. I gotta look it up. <laughs> but, um, okay. So, get a silhouette. We're gonna so get a silhouette. Do and we I... want to get us or do we want to get the dogs? I think I want to get the dogs. Like, okay. we're boring. The dogs are way more interesting than us. Since we're doing the dogs and they can't be here at Walt Disney World, we had to provide profile photos of the dogs. So, we had a couple in our. Yeah, photo lucky roll. we had dozens and dozens and dozens. You're welcome. Yes. <laughs> and, uh,. Cutting it from my, looking at my phone, looking at a photo on my phone. You can even get a silhouette of yourself wearing the mask if you, for some reason, want to remember this weird time. But I was, I was actually thinking before we got here, it could be like a cool like reminder of this trip. But like, the dogs are way cuter. Like, come on. <laughs> Oh my god! He was so fast too. We've only been here like 10 minutes. Wow, that's so cool. Where are we gonna put them in the house? Why have we never done this before? I don't know. Everybody should do this. This is such like a relatively inexpensive souvenir. We were just talking with Jim. He's been here for 34 years doing this. So it's safe to say that he's perfected the art. And I gotta say, this brought me to this brought me to tears. Like he did this so quick. For some reason, I thought it was gonna be one of those things where like we showed him a photo and then like we left for a while and then came back to like pick it up. But wow! You know that you've gone full theme park when you get a sunburn on your the top of your head. So you gotta buy a water to put on the top of your head because it hurts. <laughs> I have a joke for you. Why was Buzz Lightyear at the Lexus dealership? To go beyond infinity. <laughs> Thank you, Buzz. I just noticed that a bird pooped on my hat. When did that happen? How long has it been like this? I mean, you weren't, it wasn't like that when you were wearing it. It's like dry though. You think it happened yesterday when we were sitting underneath the... Oh, maybe. You see who's waiting behind you? Well, I was just thinking there's a lot of bird poop right here. I probably shouldn't be sitting right in this area, but yes, I, I'm aware of my surroundings. <laughs> Sorry, honey, about your hat. I guess this is like my lucky hat now. I don't... But it's funny that we've been carrying this hat around. Yeah, I've been, Neither you or me noticed. I've been walking around all morning with a bird poop hat on my back. <laughs> Do you have like your favorite ride in Magic Kingdom? Oh, okay. That's a good idea. I think you should ride Astro Orbiter. Yeah. Oh, I, I don't think I've ever done that. Yeah, and we, ours is like so down low. Oh, it is a pile. It's kind ours of scary. Is, ours is intense. Like we took the, we oh took boy. the baby on it. He loved it. I was so scared. Jackson was like, he was like loving life, and I'm yeah. like, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it pulls the most G's for a flat ride. Yeah. In Disney. I've of course been on Astro Orbiter in Disneyland, but not this one. I love how this ride actually has you take the elevator up, kind of like a real shuttle launch. We got the elevator all to ourselves. This is not an elevator. This is a lift in the gantry to the rocket pad. It looks like, <laughs> a, it looks like an elevator to me. Otis, what does that stand for? Outer Terrain Industrial Space. Come on in. To make your rocket ship fly higher, pull back on the control lever in front of you. To descend, just push the control lever forward. Thank you. Pilots, 
I like put on my hat, but it's got bird poop on it, so it's fine. <laughs> and it's actually cool you can see the Tron coaster being constructed from up there. Back to Earth. Womp womp. Over in Disneyland, we used to have the French fry rocks over here. They have like these Arctic rocks because apparently in the future it's very cold and shiny. accept the compliment. On the way out they had a cavalcade, it had all the Disney princesses and for whatever reason they, they kept on blowing <laughs> kisses at me. Kitra's not happy. <laughs> better watch out ladies. He's mine. Do you like them better because they don't have bird poop on their hats? <laughs> I mean it's okay you can the tell one me. for me has the bird poop. Oh good because I tried washing it and it didn't come off. See, for lunch though, I was gonna say Nomad Lounge. Yeah, you should go to Animal Kingdom and stop by Nomad Lounge. Yeah. I mean, that's what you always do though, is I say something and you're like, oh yeah, yeah, that. Well, I was gonna that. say Animal Kingdom, but I wasn't <laughs> thinking about food. I was just like, what's what's the underdog park that I want them to go to? If you go to Animal Kingdom, you should go to Nomad Lounge. You should get the, what did we get that was so good? We ordered like two of them. It was like the little... Oh yeah, what was that that we ordered two of? We ordered the churros and we ordered the... It was some kind of chicken, like a taco, like a bao bun or something. I'd have to look back. And then they have this watermelon drink that you should order. They have a non-alcoholic one and then they have one with vodka. But it's just, it's literally just like watermelon juice and vodka and it's so Ooh. good. Is that... No, that's, that's the hibiscus one. It's Jen's tattoo, right? I think it's called the Watermelon High Tower. I, mean, I know it's called the Watermelon... I don't know why I have to It's called <laughs> like, the Watermelon High called... Tower. <laughs> I just wanted to sell the, tell the fun fact, so you know how Joe Rohde gets his earring everywhere that he goes? Yeah. There's another Imagineer named Jen who gets a tattoo everywhere she goes. Oh, that's cool. And so the, 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 drink, drink. the drink is called Jen's Tattoo. Yeah. Which I thought was interesting. It's not very good though because it has hibiscus um, like extract or something in it. It tastes terrible. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I would pick. I would pick Nomad Lounge. And it's such like a nice, chill, like you can see the flotillas come by. You're sitting outside, but there's like tons of fans. It feels great. So we went back to the Polynesian, jumped in our car, and drove to Animal Kingdom. And do you not have to pay for parking after a certain time? Because we didn't, there was like nobody at the the gate to take money for the parking. So that's kind of strange. Is that like a thing? I don't know, but that means more money that we could spend it on cocktails. <laughs> right? Yes. Animal Kingdom and Epcot are our two favorite Disney World parks because they're so very different from anything over in Disneyland. So I feel like we've been here more than the other parks, but we also have never been to Nomad Lounge, which I hear is amazing. I am so, so, so excited to be back in my favorite park. I love Epcot too, but this is personally my number one favorite park. And it just feels good to be back. I love the vibe here. We only get to spend a few hours here, but oh, I'm just yeah. so happy to finally be back. You also love the animals. I do love the animals, you're right. You got me. So in Animal King, 
Kingdom, the fancy restaurant is Tiffin's, and right next door is the Nomad Lounge, and they share the same kitchen. It's supposed to be amazing here. I've been sweating. I need myself a cold alcoholic <laughs> beverage. Yeah. I've heard. Is that what you need? I've heard this is the place to be for that, so I'm excited. One of the fun things about this lounge is it's right next to the water, and during these crazy times, they have these floats that go by called floatillas or floatzillas. Basically, they're just floats with Disney characters that pass by, dancing and waving. So it's been fun sitting here and seeing some of them go by. They go by too quickly. It was your favorite tip now. I know. Hopefully, we get to see them again. On Jen's recommendation, I got High Tower Rocks that has tequila, watermelon, sweet and sour, and lime juices. This looks awesome. Okay, here we go. So refreshing. Watermelon with the taste of lime. You can't even really taste the alcohol, to be honest. <laughs> it's one of those strong, like, you know, dangerous drinks. I feel like this is a drink, if you know someone that doesn't like alcohol, but likes fruity flavor, this is the drink to get because this just feels like it could just be watermelon juice. It's so good. Five out of five people. Yeah, I knew it. Who of are we trying to fool around here? And I, I love this watermelon garnish on the top. Yeah. It's nice. Nice touch, Nomad Lounge. <laughs> I just want to give a big thank you to Tim and Jen again. I'm sure we'll thank them a million times more in this video, but it's just so nice to like have a day that's already planned out. It takes so much pressure off of us because you guys, you don't know behind the scenes. We spend so much time like planning and researching and doing all this stuff for our videos. So it's nice to have, you know, some experts, some Walt Disney World experts do it for us. So we could just sit back and yeah. reap the benefits. And it's also good that it gets us out of our comfort zone. Like, I don't think we would have done after Orbiter. Or the silhouettes. Yeah. Genius. One of the things on the specialty board were these smoked pork ribs and they came very highly recommended from our waitress so we ordered these as well. And these are pork ribs with a sweet soy glaze and they have an apple hickma slaw with it. And you know, <laughs> ya boy is a connoisseur of, of all things ribs. Ya boy Peter, he has made his return. Yeah, I like ribs, I like baby back ribs, I, I like all, all kinds of ribs. Mm. <laughs> the meat just falls right off the bone. That barbecue sauce is very smoky. Not like too heavy on the sweet side. These might be the best ribs I've ever had at Disney Park. Whoa. No, these are highly recommended. I would say five out of five Peters. Ordinary Adventure Star for sure. <laughs> I don't like, I want to come back here I when know. they have the full menu and try everything. I know. We also ordered the churros. This comes with vanilla crema sauce and a strawberry chili dipping sauce. These smell. I know I always say this, but these smell so dang good. They look absolutely amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and try the vanilla sauce. I'll leave the, the chili strawberry for you. Are these the best churros I've ever had? These are so sugary, so cinnamony. They're like a little bit more deep fried, I think, than like a normal Disney churro. They just taste really, really fresh. Not to say that there's anything against the ones that you know you get around the park, but like I'm pretty sure those ones are just like frozen churros that they heat up. This actually feels like they made this churro back in the kitchen. You could tell. You know, it's interesting when they brought this out, I for some reason thought this was gonna be chocolate because that's vanilla, but it, it's like this spicy, Strawberry sauce? <laughs> that's a kick to it. Oh, does it? Yeah, strawberry, but it has a kick. These are the best churros I've ever oh had. Oh my god. Soft on the inside, crispy on the outside, five out of five feeders. And I really like the strawberry. It's just like has a little bit of a kick to it. Who would have thought? Tim and Jen were right. <laughs> they live in theme parks. Of course they know. Good. It's good stuff. Here's what I think you should do. 
I think you should buy a balloon. I think you should get your face painted. Oh, my God. oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I'm get, down. I still think you should get your face painted. <laughs> <laughs> like an avatar. <laughs> I, I'll not, do it. Your face painted. You should do it. You should definitely buy some some version of silly ears, like either the avatar ears or the marine <laughs> yes. ears or the hundred one Dalmatian ears. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That. Yeah, you gotta go like full full this. Go full yeah. avatar. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> that would actually be really funny. <laughs> yeah, I think I feel like that's a pretty good day. I think so. Should definitely ride the. Uh, the safari too while you're at Animal Kingdom because they've got the new pygmy goat, the African pygmy goats. That's brand new. Oh, okay. We're gonna have to make a list like... of all these things and do every single one of them, including paint yourself. You're you're getting painted, right? As yeah. an avatar? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. I'll be the one to get painted. <laughs> and I'll get a tail and I'll get the ears. I'll Wait, how did full... they even do that with the mask on? I think they like incorporate it like above the mask. Yeah. Uh, some, 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 some of the theme parks will paint your mask. Like... No, no, they'll, they'll oh. buy a mask. Oh, you buy one of okay. their masks that's already sense. Oh, is that what it is? Styled, yeah, and then um, they paint up here. Okay. It was pretty smart, like a quick adaptation of yeah. the business Wait, plan. Wait, can I like get that? into Wine Bar George if I have my face painted? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't totally. think there's a dress code. Okay. There isn't a dress code, yeah, because it's at okay. Disney Springs, so it's very, like, it's pretty chill. Yeah. Like, it feels fancy, but it's not, like, it's not. Yeah, yeah. You'll, you'll be there next to somebody that's on a fancy date. Yeah, and you'll, and you'll be, be like, like, I'm an avatar. Like, <laughs> Get me out of the glass of wine. I, I see you, Jake Sully. <laughs> I love Pandora. <laughs> I love it so much here. Crab creature. Yeah, I've never noticed. I've never noticed that before. <laughs> See if I could get my Navi face paint. But apparently, you know, obviously it makes sense due to due to the pandemic. There is no face painting currently. So dang, I was like so looking forward to like looking like a Navi from like the eyes up. You tried. I know. It's okay. You ready to go on the safari? Oh yeah. I'm ready. What did you get? So they didn't have like I was envisioning this blue hat with ears and a tail, and I guess that doesn't exist. <laughs> so I ended up getting, drum roll please, I got a banshee shoulder pet. <laughs> I think this could be fun for a giveaway. Like maybe we could give this away. Yeah. So we'll explain how a little bit later, but isn't he cute? <laughs> These are tight. Oh my God. Yeah, <laughs> I can like barely fit in here. So lastly at Animal Kingdom, we went on the safari. It just had rained, which I think is the best time to go on the safari because all the animals were. Yeah, we saw so many. I love the safari. I said this the last time we went on it, but like, I, what I love about it is every time you go on it, you see something different. Yeah. And I was so happy to see the new exhibit, the little goats in their little like encampment. It was so cute. Yeah, there was one like on the table eating out of like his food. <laughs> yeah, and... I loved that. That's a great new addition. We got to get up close with some like black rhinos. They were like right in front of me. And it was also cool, we went at the very end of the day. It had just started raining, so I think everybody started leaving the park. Yeah. And that meant there was a walk on. It was a walk on, and it was us and another group in this safari vehicle. Yeah. We had it to ourselves. Amazing. The, the woman that ran it knew everything. She was probably like the best guide that we've ever had, honestly. I was so, I feel so lucky that we got her. Yeah, but all the, all the animals we saw, I don't know. This might have been the best safari I've ever been on here at Animal Kingdom. Thank you, Tim and Jen. <laughs> it's yeah, because it, it, of them, they called ahead and they're like, hey, make sure that the Kitra and Peter get our extra special safari, right? Tim was like, why, why didn't I get it? When I was on it, none of the animals showed up. No. And I also got to use my new zoom lens. Yeah, so hopefully the footage looks good. I guess I'll find out while I'm editing this video. Huh? Yeah, I don't know because there isn't stabilization, so I'm wondering how it showed, uh, how it turned out. Let us know in the comments below. Oh, Mickey! Hi! Oh, we finally saw Mickey. I love Animal Kingdom. That's how I didn't get to spend more time here. Mickey!
we're gonna look to see if I can find myself a hat here at Disney Springs. I've been looking at this hat for a long time and it could be a good temporary replacement until I wash my other hat. You should get it. How's it look? It looks awesome. Who are better, you or that guy? Obviously in there? that guy. God, why did I stand right next to him? <laughs> <laughs> no, really, what do you think? You look awesome. Okay, fingers crossed, no birds ruin this hat. <laughs> <laughs> you are becoming a target. I am. I really am. Well, I'll tell you this. I was very excited for this conversation just for dinner. I was just excited to talk to you guys. I was excited to talk to you all too, but... Like seriously, <laughs> I, really, I, even, I was like, I have to get ready. I have to like, I have to put on a little bit of makeup. Like I need to look presentable. I feel like we're in such par like parental mode that we just look like hot garbage all day. And it was like, we're going to talk to our friends. <laughs> <laughs> this is exciting. Right? Yeah. See, I have a prediction for the dinner thing. Oh, okay. we'll, we'll say when we get there, okay? Uh, oh yeah, prediction. because we always go to the same spot for well, dinner. I yeah. Because like, well, it's so yeah, good. It's really good. So, Wine Bar George. Yeah, Wine Bar George, <laughs> get the Pork Pluma. Yeah. Or the BLTC. Or the octopus salad, or the burrata, or the mac and cheese balls, or <laughs> yeah. like, everything is so good there. Never had a bad meal at Wine Bar George. Literally, Everything is, they have delicious drinks. Like we don't drink anymore, but if you're, if you guys are drinking, they have really good drinks. George is always there. Find George. Oh my gosh. Tell him hello. Yeah, he would like love you Ask guys. Ask him for a wine recommendation. He's like a master sommelier. I, I'm not saying that right, but he's like, <laughs> he knows what he's talking about. Yeah. So you're, it's, and it's such like a nice date place too. So it'll be like romantic. By the way, I was so like, wrong with my prediction. I thought you, I thought for sure you were gonna say boat house. Really? Oh, no, because... because Boathouse is Boathouse is great. It's really delicious, but I just feel like Wine Bar George, it is, we just love it so Wine much. Wine Bar George is our number one, Boathouse is number two. Well, yeah. Like, it's so good. <laughs> it's delicious. It is pricey, though, for, like, the portions, because it's kind of, like, tapa style, um, and it's yeah. it's pretty pricey, so I don't know if there's, like, a budget in all of this. Oh, no. no. Okay. <laughs> we'll do it. So, <laughs> all right, so Victoria and Alberts. No. <laughs> <laughs> Which wasn't even worth it. It just took too long. Well, the food wasn't, I feel like I've had better food at other places that was right. way cheaper. Right. It was too, I think it was too fancy for us. Like it just was not. It worth. was fun to get all dressed up and everything though. For you, I had to wear like stupid heels <laughs> and like <laughs> <bangs> <laughs> and like. Lastly, we find ourselves at Wine Bar George. This is a place that is owned by a guy named George. He is a master sommelier. He is one of only 269 of them in the world. You have to pass like this insane test. There's this documentary on Netflix. You should go watch it. It's supposed to be incredible. They have, what did she say? How many wines? 160 wines and some of them are on tap. They're known for like, almost like a tapas style. Like they have small plates. We're so full. I don't know what made us thought, I think that we could eat three sit down meals in a day or what Tim and Jen thought that we could eat <laughs> three to ten meals in a day. But uh, the tank is getting a little bit full, is what I'm trying to say. So I'm not sure how many things we're gonna order, but apparently this place is amazing. I wasn't gonna get a drink, but I totally got talked into this by the waitress. I got the frescato, and this is made with Dole Whip pineapple. So it's not just like, it tastes like a Dole Whip, it's made with Dole Whip pineapple from Dole. It has Moscato, vodka, and pineapple. Seems totally my kind of thing. Had to get it. I live in Florida. I'd be coming here like every week to get this. If you like a boozy Dole Whip kind of thing, this is totally, this is totally it. Five out of five Peters. I feel like this whole day has been five, 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 five. It's just like Peter heads all over the screen. But, I don't know. Well, can the food live up? That's the question. The whole reason we came here tonight, or one of the things that like for sure we were gonna get, because we're so full, is this pork pluma that if you watch the Tim Tracker, you know that they're obsessed with it. They've gotten it many, many times in their videos. We're so excited to finally try it, but they, they don't have any tonight. I guess their, their shipment of meat didn't come in or something, so a couple of the things aren't on the menu that normally are. So 
So now we don't know what we're gonna do. So now we don't know what we're gonna get, but we'll get something good, I'm sure. Dang. Oh well, it's fine though. So I think we kind of failed here because the top three items here at Wine Bar George that the trackers recommended are not on the menu tonight. So I think we're gonna get the mac and cheese balls and we might get this flaming cheese dip thing because it looks interesting. But we'll have to come back and try all the good stuff that Tim and Jen told us to get. This is really good, by the way. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't taste like Moscato at all, so if you're worried that it has like a wine kind of taste, it doesn't. Wow. And I got the crispy mac and cheese bites. This is mac and cheese. It's in these fried balls. It uses paprina cheese. It looks like an elevated fried mac and cheese balls. It, look, it looks good. Can you see that? You can see the like, little elbow macaroni inside there. It's very good. I think I'd give this like a four out of five, Peter. Not quite. I guess it's the only thing that got, didn't get a five today. Wow. But this is this is still worth getting. It, it's worth your time. You know what? Five, five out of five, Peter. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, we're giving everything a five. We ordered the Saganaki on fire. This is a Greek sheep cheese that they warm up in a cast iron skillet. They put the mextaka on top and burn it. Mixtaca is like some kind of alcohol. They burn it all up and it gets nice and bubbly. And then they use a lemon to extinguish the flame. And then you eat it with little pieces of bread. It looks good. Yeah, we got it because it looks cool. I had to like memorize what it was. So did I do good? Yeah. Do I get to eat my cheese now? Yes. <laughs> oh my good God. I just want to stick this whole thing in my mouth. I know that's not acceptable. So let's be proper, put it on the bread. Oh my, oh my, you don't need this. You don't like cheese. It tastes exactly how it sounds. It's very, very like decadent though. So like, I really don't think you're gonna like it, Peter. You could try it if you want, but like, this is a kitchen dish. It's a block of cheese that was set on fire and now I'm eating it. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. This cheese is like so rich and creamy and just like gourmet. Like this is like gourmet cheese. I am going to indulge in this. Like this is an indulgence. This is definitely something that I think you could split between multiple people because like it's like I said, it's very, very rich. Yeah, I think it's meant to be shared. But like I also said, you know, I'm fine eating this whole block of cheese to myself. How many Kitras? Five out of five Kitras, ordinary adventure star for this cheese. Come to Wine Bar George and get your block of cheese. Get it while it's hot. Get it? While well, it's on fire. Get it while it's on fire. Are they having a fire sale? They're having a fire set. How we're so funny. I don't know about you, but I am so full <laughs> and so exhausted. Tim and Jen, you gave us too much. Too much. We probably should have clarified how many things we needed yeah. to eat and do, but it was a fun day. We didn't even get to do it all. Yeah. There's still things that, like we didn't even get to do. It's not possible, man. Yeah. I'm excited to see how it turns out. I'm excited to see what things you actually do. Oh, I'm, I'm getting yeah, the face paint, don't worry. <laughs> I'm excited for the face paint. <laughs> it's see, I, be I, so I think funny. the face paint's gonna be so funny, but now I'm like fearing that we're gonna have to do that and then go to like wine bar church. It's fine, that'll be funny. I'll be like okay. drinking my wine, like getting like blue paint like on like the glass. <laughs> will be good. They are gonna love it. But it's gonna be weird because you're only gonna be painted from here up. So then they're gonna be like, Oh yeah, you're right. Oh no, and then when I eat my food, it's gonna be a, see, that'll, that's good. Bye guys. Bye guys, have a good night. Happy you Valentine's too. Day. Oh, you too. You too. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye. I know you said this in the video, but it was such a pleasure having a day at Disney World where we didn't have to plan anything. Yeah. Yeah, and we had so much good food and we did so many things that I wouldn't have ever thought about doing, like 
getting these silhouettes of Pixel and Gizmo. I know, I'm obsessed. This is such a fun, cheap souvenir. And I mean, just look at how cute they are. If you guys wanna win this awesome Banshee Pandora shoulder plush, all you have to do is leave a comment down below and just tell us what's your perfect Disney day. Could be anything you want. Also, please check out the Tim Tracker YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the video description below. It's hard to imagine that you aren't already subscribed because <laughs> he has like a million subscribers. Yeah, and they post videos every single day, so go check them out. Yes, if you missed any of our trip, any of the videos that we have posted, we'll put the whole playlist of our Walt Disney World and Universal Vacation right over there. We wanna say thank you to some of our Patreons. That includes Emma, JD Cook, the Olap family, and Lisa Garcia. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll, we'll see, see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure.